Is there emerging DLBCL research that you feel patients should know about? I would say yes. One of the things that has really been striking for me in the last uh, few years alone in caring for patients with large B cell lymphoma is how we've gone from uh, a more um, surface level understanding as we've been talking about, about what some of the differences are between different cases of large B cell lymphoma to being able to get a better readout of why the lymphomas uh, sometimes behave the way they do. I wanna be careful to make sure that patients who might be listening to this understand that we still don't have a crystal ball. We can't review their biopsy, look at their scans and tell you, I know that if you get our chop, you're gonna be cured. Or if they're a high risk situation, we can't look into a crystal ball and tell them, I know that our chop won't work for you and you should do this tougher, more intensive treatment. We still um, see a lot of outcomes that we can't necessarily predict from those other kinds of tools. They just give us a better sense of what the odds are for people as we're at the start trying to make decisions about what to do. Um, another element that has really been striking is the introduction of engineered uh, T cell immune therapy, which has provided an option for cure for some patients that otherwise we wouldn't have had an option uh, and works for about half the patients that go through it overall. Uh, what's coming down the road in clinical trials that are still ongoing uh, is um, information that'll help us decide if that approach to treatment should move to being second in line instead of a stem cell transplant for some patients. And they're even doing studies looking at whether for very high risk patients, adding a CAR T cell treatment onto the end of initial chemotherapy uh, leaves them better off in the long run. So those are questions that will take some time to answer with ongoing studies, but I think are really exciting because they're um, taking advantage of some of these newer treatment approaches that we know are helping some patients when their first attempts at treatment didn't work and seeing if they might leave them better off if we use them earlier in the process. Right. There are other studies ongoing looking at seeing if we can improve upon the results that we get with treatments like RCHOP as the first pass at treatment. Many such studies have been done and have not shown any uh, benefit by adding this drug or that to the standard RCHOP treatment, but um, there have been a few new drugs approved for treating people with large B cell lymphoma after it's relapsed in the last few years. Uh, for example, one called polituzumab vedotin, another uh, a combination of the drug lenalidomide and a new antibody-based drug called tafacitumab. Uh, and then there's another drug called lancastuximab. And so there are studies going on with all of those looking at whether they offer more benefits to patients if we use them earlier in the game. Mm -hmm.